Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more FTL! We are continuing to mod the game and experience some of the Community Workshop creations. Today we're trying out a mod called Descent Into Darkness, created years ago by Dry Eagle. I don't believe this is still properly maintained by Dry Eagle anymore, but some other fans have continued to update this. And this mod came heavily recommended. Apparently it embraces a bit more of the roleplay and story elements while also being pretty compelling to play, so I'm looking forward to it. I've really been enjoying playing some more FTL lately. Definitely been enjoying playing some mods, even though the Captain's Edition is pretty hard and we lost our last run. Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck with Descent Into Darkness. Now, interestingly enough, in this mod you only have access to one ship type. It is called the Athena, and you may notice it has no systems, crew, weapons, augmentations, or anything. Don't worry about this, there's apparently going to be some options in the very beginning of this mod. I'm going into this fairly blind, but at least I understand a little bit of what's going on. So welcome to Descent Into Darkness. This is a modification by Dry Eagle. Before you start blasting apart the rebels and everyone else, you have to make some choices. All right. So we awake to find sirens blaring across the station. Accessing the nearest console, you immediately see why. A large group of rebel ships are approaching on an attack vector. Knowing you have little time, you use the station sensors to scan the approaching fleet as you head towards the hangar bays. The data you've collected will be vital to the Federation fleet. We gain a single person called Captain. My story begins here. The station's cloak is holding for now. While you are powerless to stop the inevitable bombardment of the planet below, you can at least avenge the lives lost here today by preparing the Federation fleet with the data that your scans have collected. You have heard many stories of the devastation the rebel fleet leaves in its wake. Planets burned to the point of being uninhabitable. It is a terrible fate for any on the surface. You don't stop to dwell on the fact that you will never see your family again. Getting to the Federation fleet will not be easy. Your ship is not built for direct combat. Now's the time to change that. This not being a Federation-owned station, you won't be getting any equipment here. You head to the financial sector and withdraw the last of your savings. Warning, if you add a new system, you will have three system slots left. Good to know. 200 scrap, we lose a little bit of fuel. Fleet Pursuit doubled for two jumps. Okay, not much, but it will do. Having withdrawn the last of your savings, you head to one of the more reputable weapons merchants and start to browse their inventory while they install a weapon system on your ship. The first weapon to catch your eye is... A cannon that shoots projectiles so fast they penetrate shields, or a heavy beam weapon. Ooh. I mean, I love having good beam weapons at the beginning of the game. This is always kind of nice. Yeah, we're going to take the beam weapon. Hopefully we get something else that complements this well. Having secured the first weapon, you continue browsing the list of available armaments. Plasma cannons. That's what you need. Definitely plasma cannons. Superheated plasma to start fires or heavily ionized plasma. Well, setting fires can be fun. I mean, the good thing about fires on an enemy ship is if you can kill the enemy crew, you obviously get a huge boost to scrap. So that's nice. But... Only useful if you can get the shields down on an enemy first, which, with the beam weapon that I take, I, I don't see this pairing up very nicely. Also, the problem with fire is it takes a while for it to really impact the enemy, so they are still fighting you at full strength. Whereas if we take the Ion to knock out the shields, followed by a heavy beam to do loads of damage to certain subsystems, maybe we increase our survivability. So we're going to take that. With the weapons mounted to your ship, you decide to head to the local dive, where you will surely be able to hire some mercenaries. A ship this size, this this size, in fact, might be acceptable for a single pilot on a leisure cruise, but in combat you'll need all the help you can get. After chatting with some of the mercs offering their services, you decide to hire a maintenance team with NG, Zoltan, and a system repair drone, a boarding party with a crystal and a mantis, or a security detail with a rock, slug, and an anti-personnel drone. Crystal and Mantis is fun, but I don't anticipate this is going to be a boarding party ship, unless we get very lucky and have a lot of scrap and find the right stuff in the store early on. So this probably isn't going to do me a lot of good. Rock and Slug is pretty solid. NG is always good. Zoltan for extra power is awesome. I think we're going to take the maintenance team. So the NG is punctual, as expected. Wrench, okay, and there's our drone. We do lose some of the scrap. So we don't start with 200. We're spending it as we get these extra options. And then Sparks is going to arrive shortly after. As you are leaving the bar, you overhear a heated three-way argument as to the best way to augment a ship's defenses. A rock is hammering home his point about reinforcing the ship's hull. An NG says the security ship's electronics, and a Zoltan claims that their sh energy shields is the superior option. Checking with your data pad, you realize that you still have scrap to spare. Who do you agree with? 
Well, I suspect, based on what I'm getting out of this, this is an augmentation, not an extra ship bar or anything. So, um, we could reinforce ship's hull. That's probably going to be like a rock hull augment, which, if I recall correctly, uh, has a chance to eliminate any hull damage when you get shot at. I don't remember what the electronics does. I think it just gives you maybe some extra uh, power bars, maybe? Or an energy shield. You won't have level 2 shields. I'm not sure what that means. I think maybe they're telling me that I'm not going to get an extra shield bar. If so, probably a Zoltan overshield? I'm going to take that. That sounds all right. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Okay. You hire some Zoltan technicians to supercharge your ship's shields. However, your regular shields were severely damaged in the process. Seeing that the fleet is getting closer to the station, you decide to repair the system later. Okay, maybe we would have gained this if we had chosen anything else. But because we took this, we only have like five bars of shields and then nothing to back it up. We'll need to upgrade this as soon as possible. Arriving back at your ship, you find a catalog from the weapons merchant, showing you a, a fine selection of drones. Almost out of scrap, you decide to spend the last remaining part to secure a powerful drone for your trip ahead. We could purchase an offensive beam drone or a defensive drone. Probably a defensive drone. I think that some defense drones actually can be useful, especially in the final fight, when you have to deal with lots of missiles, and sometimes it's hard to overcome that. Though the Zoltan Super Shield will actually help with some of the initial volleys a little bit as well. You are now prepared as you are likely to be, and don't wish to hang around any longer. It will be difficult staying ahead of the Rebels, and any further delay could prove fatal. Go now, rendezvous with the Federation fleet, and bring these Rebels to justice for all the worlds they have burned. They will answer in accordance to the law, or I will deal with them personally. Personally, I'm going to take the Vendetta. That sounds kind of cool. All right, let's turn on my weapons, get that going. We don't have any shields, so I guess I can make use of full engines at the moment for dodge chance. Yeah, both of these guns should pair fairly well, at least for the early game. Let's see what happens from here. Uh, I don't care about going to stores, but I do care about getting as much scrap as possible, as early as possible, so we can have at least one bar of shields. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's send an away party. We find a cache of supplies. That could have gone badly, but fortunately it did not. Woo, you guys are catching up nice and quick. I don't appreciate that at all. Uh, we're going to go this way and try to build some space, because I don't know if we can get here and then still avoid them if they're going to have a boost for the next two jumps. We may have to go this way and ignore the store. Fine by me. Let's just do that. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. I'm pretty sure if we attack and win, we can get a free crew member. I don't like that they have a shield of their own, but we're going to go ahead and attack the Slaver Scum. Uh, because they have an overshield, it's not going to matter what I do to start. So we probably probably just go ahead and target whatever we can, including with the beam weapon. Does the beam weapon do damage to the Zoltan shield? I actually don't remember. We need to check this. It looks like it charges about the same speed as my overshield anyway. No, it does none. Oh, yes, it does some. Okay, never mind. It does do a little bit. So we can knock that out. I'm now obviously in a little bit of danger. Oh, we should probably also move my crew around. I will have you in, let's say, engines. You in weapons, maybe? Sure, I want to be charging up my weapons as quickly as we can. We also need to remember to rename these crew members. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Let's start by hitting him with the Ion Plasma. Pretty sure it'll just knock out the shields. Boom, and now we go for the Heavy Beam. I want to take out your weapons and your shields. We can hit three rooms if we do this. Boom! All right, that works pretty good. We surrender, take one of our slaves. Excellent. I will happily take Markand, another NG. All right, we're already up to four crew. That's pretty good. Let's fix up my O2 real quick, and let me find some names for these people from the patron list. Don't shoot at me! Hey! Okay, and these are going to be my crew members. We have Supersum, Nomak, Mathic, and Harrison Dunn, who are going to be joining in. Excellent. All right, now we have our proper crew. So how much is it going to take to get me another shield bar? 100 scrap is pretty, pretty darn penalizing. That seems more expensive than normal. In fact, it is. Look at that. Goes to 100 for right now because it's a weak system. Extra scrap required for initial upgrades. Ouch. Then the price drops back down to 50. Oh, that's... That's what we call very penalizing. Ah, okay. Well, we need a lot of scrap and we need it now. If we can find some free weapons or something, that'd be great. I demand your surrender. They don't want to fight. They're trying to run away. Well, that's fine. Um, you have a drone. Uh, it is an anti-combat drone. Destroys my own drones. Don't care about that. Can't intercept the plasma. That's the thing that matters. Obviously, we would like to knock out, let's say, um, 
First off, their beam weapon shouldn't do too much to me. I want to knock out their engines, obviously, so they have a, don't have a chance to run away. And if we can knock out the shields and the weapons at the same time, hey, so much the better. So let's delay their FTL. That is a pretty hefty amount of damage. Um, it does double damage in systemless rooms. So yeah, it doesn't have a very long arc, but we could do, we could actually almost have killed them this shot. We'd be one damage shy if we had hit the systemless room. Yeah, the heavy beam's not bad, actually. I kind of like this setup. I love starting with beam weapons, just as a general rule. It's like always good. Also, does the ion plasma, the ion plasma does damage too. It doesn't only uh, knock out shields and stun things. Well, that's fascinating. All right, well, we can certainly try to knock out the shields and stuff. Let's go ahead and just destroy them now, though. There we go. Well done, Mr. Heavy Beam. We like you a lot. Eight scrap, that's it. Ugh. It's not as good as I might have hoped for. Uh, we can probably hit up this and then get to the Distress Beacon without too much trouble. I did start with at least a reasonable amount of fuel at the beginning, so that's not bad. We found you at last. Prepare to die. I didn't kill your father. What are you talking about? Sorry, that's just a reference to... The Princess Bride, which might be one of the best movies ever made, but anyway. Uh, let's see, you got at least a couple of beam weapons. You will eventually be able to do some nasty damage to me. The sooner we can knock that out, obviously, the better. Go ahead and launch off the plasma. And I think we can hit all three of these. Maybe not. If I get really close to the edge. Ah, darn it. All right. So what we want to do then is probably hit his weapons as well as the systemless room for a bit of extra damage. Burn, baby, burn! All right, he wants to run away. Uh, give me some scrap. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna accept that. I think I might be able to get better than eight scrap if I just straight out murder you. Murder is always preferable, is what I've learned sometimes. Well, it's not always true, but in this case, I think it might be. All right, so that's going down and you're dead. We get more than eight scrap. Please tell me I do. 18, hey, see? Murder does always win. <laughs> Let's go to this distress beacon and see what we can find. Hopefully nothing too crazy. We've encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It's run out of fuel. I will hail them. And it was an ambush. Well, that's just mean. Don't pretend to be refugees. Gosh, this is why no one trusts each other in space. Gosh, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. These weapons take a little while to charge. Uh, a little bit too long, in my opinion. Ooh, nice dodges. Love that. Um, we may want to consider if we can find something like a weapon pre-igniter or something like that. That could be kind of awesome for us. Let's hit their O2 weapons and engines. That should seriously mess them up. They're gonna have to prioritize kind of a lot of important stuff. Though, it occurs to me, I actually could have just killed them in one shot, because if I had targeted both of these system rooms, that would have been enough. Well, that's fun. Um, hmm. Not gonna matter, but good to know that we had that option. Ooh. Could have chosen a more efficient path there to do more immediate damage before they had a chance at shooting me, but oh well. 12 scrap and no sign of refugees. So, I don't know, they're all dead or something. Uh, okay, well, we can head toward a nebula, which will buy me a little bit of extra time before the rebels catch up, but not a ton. We arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned. We detect some signatures. I will... Scrap for debris. We get eight. I didn't want to take a risk of maybe having an event that would cost me a crew member. Uh, and I need scrap more than I need crew if we could have found somebody for free like hey cool But I don't need it per se see these drones by the way actually are a very compelling reason not to go for fire um, Plasma fire actually would mean that I couldn't beat these drones very easily because these guys always have no oxygen in them So that might be a very good reason to say that hey having uh, Having 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 a plasma fire weapon at the beginning of the game is a terrible idea And we should always go for this setup that I've already got maybe I don't know um, I would like to knock out your weapons before you can do damage, mainly because I don't like that beam weapon that you got there. We can take out your hacking system, which you're now launching after me. Well, good timing. You've launched it, but now it's lost in space because I destroyed this thing. Haha, -ha, sucker. We don't... What's what's going on over here? We're inside a nebula. Yeah, we don't have an ion storm or something. That's what I was kind of looking for is making sure we didn't have anything there. I do want to take out your engine so you can't dodge me, of course, and instead you're just dead. Good, good. 13 scrap. All right, we're up to 81. Getting there. Uh, we can definitely get here, but I don't think that we can then get to the exit in time. I think we have to choose one of these two. I guess I'll go to the nebula even though I usually don't much care for them, but we'll try it. A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding. I will try to follow them, and we have to fight another rebel. Honestly, fine with me. More combat just means more scrap. That's all that I care about here. Why is it acting as if we have level two doors, by the way? Fully functional, manned. It's not manned. This seems messed up. We have a level one 
scanner here. Apparently, the Athena gets both of these upgraded as if they're permanently manned, even though they're objectively not. Seems a little bit weird, right? No? All right, fine, whatever. They have a crew teleporter. Ooh. Well, the question then becomes, do I take out the weapons so we don't take damage, or do we take out the crew teleporter so he can't get across? I kind of don't want him to have his crew teleporter. Let's go for systemless damage room and knock this thing out quick. He can't teleport over so long as we have an overshield, which now that it's down means we might be in a little trouble. I do want to knock out those weapons. One more beam shot should be enough to finish you off, though. Let's make sure we take out those shields. Ow! All right, that one hurt. That one hurt a little bit. We can finish you off now, though. Um, let's just do this. Boom. Oh, oh, yes. No, hang on. Yes, 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 yes. Heavy laser mark two. I accept. That's a fantastic deal. Um, I don't see a great way to vent things out into space. There's only a couple of airlocks over here. We might have to cycle out a couple of NG. We need to put out this fire. Okay, we're actually fine. Good, so let's get everyone healed up, make sure Mathic doesn't die on me. That obviously would suck for a number of reasons. Now, as far as this heavy laser is concerned, I don't think we're gonna keep it. I mean, it does do a pretty good amount of damage, but it takes three power bars, which is a lot. It is a lot. Um, it could be a pretty good weapon, but I think that I usually prefer the heavy laser Mark I or something. So we may end up selling this, but hey, that's basically free scrap. Uh, ooh, this is gonna be close. Do we think we can get to the exit in time if we do this? It will be very close. It's either going to be right here or right here. I can't visualize it easily. There are some mods out there that I believe try to map out all the different jumps so it's a little bit easier, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk this. Let's attack the ship. Uh, you have no shields, which actually makes my life fairly easy. We'll go ahead and try to stun your weapons, and then, I don't know. I don't really care about mind control, per se. I think I'll just knock out some systemless rooms. The great thing about the Zoltan shield is we are protected against some of the initial missiles, which is amazing. The beam just took this thing out straight up. All right, so we get 13 more scrap, and the station was a storage site, which gets me a shield overcharger on top of a bunch of other stuff. That's such a great early game advantage. Beautimous. Uh, we don't have enough power to take on uh, an extra bar of shields and keep my engines, but at least now we have some initial defense. Gosh dang it, I told you there was a chance to be right on the edge. All right, so now we're in a bit of danger. We may have to fight some rebels in a nebula. All right, and they're scary. Oh boy. Uh, well, if I can get out of this fight, that would be great. I don't think you usually have the chance to scrap these guys, but I could be wrong. Um... He's charging up a weapon, which gives me some time to try and knock this out. This won't knock down my super shield very easily. So if this can take out two levels of shield, which I think it can, he's firing off a burst. Oh, no, it can't. Okay, hang on. Uh, I'm going to do as much damage here as possible. I think we can still penetrate a little bit. Okay, so hopefully this helps. Now we've lost some stuff. We are in danger. I may still want to run away from this, honestly. Um... I'm hoping we did enough damage to the shields that we can keep this thing down for a bit. The answer is no, and we missed. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, now now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. I don't have good defenses. He's firing off huge bursts. Ow, there goes my piloting. That's a problem, because it means I won't be able to run away. We gotta try to hit him again. And you know what? This time I am gonna go for things like the weapons and the engines, so he's less likely to dodge, and also he maybe can knock out one of these guns. There we go. That at least is reasonable. I can defend myself against that. No problem. Keep charging that FTL drive. We may have to run for it. There's no door between this? You have to go all the way around? Well, that just seems silly. All right, fire this off. Go pew. Okay, hit that. He still doesn't have his weapons up. Maybe we can just keep doing this. I mean, kind of. We're not doing a lot of damage quickly, but we actually might be able to beat him if we can just keep hitting these weapons. I might be all right. The problem is he's able to charge up his shields. The ion expires just before the next shot. Now, the good news is, once I get some weapon skill on Nomak, uh, and this recharges faster, we might be able to keep firing off the ion blast to keep the shields down and stack up some of the ion damage, which would be pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. All right, let's take out that med bay. Keep hitting the weapons. He can't hurt me right now. I don't know if you get any scrap out of this. We might. I mean, it's worth a shot, right? We'll definitely try it. And in the meantime, I guess we're getting some extra um, shield experience as well as some dodge chance and weapon experience. So there we go. This should finish him off. Okay. Well, there goes that Federation ship. We get one fuel. That's it. Yeah, all right. 
I, I didn't think we were going to get anything out of that. There's no incentive to fight behind enemy lines. Do we want to go to a rock-controlled area or a Zoltan area? Honestly, I'm thinking rock. Zoltan will likely have lots of over shields, which means my beam weapon is not as effective. So rock seems like the way to go. Also, I think we might have a little bit of extra combat for me over here. Rock people are aggressive. Yeah, duly noted. Uh, Super Sum, I would like you to go and heal yourself, my buddy. All right, where do we want to go? Distress Beacon? Sure. All right, let's just see if there's anything exciting over here. Still doing okay on fuel. That's good. A ship without life forms. Should we investigate? Could be dangerous. Uh, we have an overshield. We should be able to defend ourselves from asteroids, right? We search. Oh, come on! All right, we have to pull out. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Darn it. I thought that if you had an overshield, there was a good chance that that event actually turned out more positive for you, but I guess not. We'll repair that damage. We just basically lost 10, but I mean, oh well. Uh, still think that this is fine for us. That was a discounted repair, so it's not as bad as it could have been, considering. Why is my engines damaged? I don't know. As you naturally warlike species with few intergalactic diplomatic ties, the rock people have garnered quite the reputation as fearsome pirates. Yeah. So the thing is, this ion is only going to last me for a little bit longer. I really don't think that this is going to last much beyond this sector. Pretty soon we are going to need another sh uh, weapon. And this might be where the heavy laser is going to end up coming in play. Maybe we have to lose the ion plasma for a bit just to have the double shot of the heavy laser. If we can have a different weapon, you know, uh, let's say a cheap burst laser or something to also burn through this, or maybe another ion weapon to pair up, That'd be better. I would like to get rid of the heavy laser in favor of other things. But for now, I'm kind of on borrowed time. This will only work for a little while. All right, did some damage there. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit the systemless room so we can kill you. There we go, he is dead. I like this beam weapon, it's good. 20 scrap, okay. Uh, well, I can buy another power bar and I'll toss that into engines for a little bit of extra evasion chance. That's not bad. We may want to consider getting another weapon bar just so I have the option to swap over to the heavy laser mark II if I need it. Uh, we can keep exploring off in this direction, why not? Down to five fuel. Now I'm getting a little bit more scared. Okay, defensive maneuvers, you have a flat gun. This is a great counter to my overshield. Uh, I don't like that. But we should be able to survive the first volley, I am pretty darn sure. So, let's see if we can knock out the weapons nice and quick. Go, oh, we missed, darn it. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit him. Knock out that flat gun. If we can. The Ion's gonna take a little while to recharge. Yeah, duly noted, but his piloting's down. He's gonna have to repair the weapons. His O2 is down. I mean, we got some time to make this work. Let's go ahead and shoot him again. Boom. And you know what? We just go ahead and hit all this. Burn for me. He's dead. Man, we can do a lot of damage with this beam weapon. It's so good. So good. A store. Uh, all right. Let me, let me try to get a little bit more scrap before we hit up the store. I'd like to make at least one or two more jumps, get some scrap together, see if we can buy a weapon that will replace this. Slaver Scum again. You know what? I hate Slaver Scum. Beam Drone here normally wouldn't do much damage if you have shields, but we'll start doing damage to the overshield, so kind of annoying. As long as you survive the first volley of this missile, though, I'm not very scared of them. Should be fine. Yeah, this should block the first missile. There we go. And as long as we survive, uh, we can get out and take out his weapons before he fires off a second one, we're fine. There it is. All right. So I'm going to take out um, O2 weapons and engines, force him to make a decision between what he wants to repair. And in the meantime, at least... Oh. Um, all right. Fine. We'll take another person. I was thinking maybe not, but you know what? Maybe yes. So this person is going to go work the doors, which actually in hindsight doesn't make any sense because it's already considered to be manned regardless. So now that I think about it, this doesn't do me any good. Oh. All right, um, is there anything else that makes sense? Yeah, Harrison, you become my repair guy and we'll have you go down here and work shields. Reason being, humans learn skill faster. I don't want to reset the amount I'm learning with the weapons, but we haven't made much progress with shields, so it's no skin off my back to have a human working the shields instead. He'll learn faster and get a uh, boost up. Also, having an NG available to run around and do some repair is probably the better way to go. Of course, this does mean we need to rename Shirai. Lucidus it is! Oh, BKB. Uh, we can definitely hit up one more jump and then go to the store and still make our way toward the exit. No problem there. Asteroids annoying and also a super shield bypass. Now there are borders. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and open up the airlock and retreat Harrison elsewhere. Okay, they're over here. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and retreat you guys down here and then we're going to open up the airlocks. That doesn't do me any good. Wait, we have to do... 
Something like this. All right, so let's get down here. We're gonna start draining you if we can. I might as well turn on a little bit of extra power here in the engines. Um, now the good news is the asteroids can kind of work out well for me with the heavy beam. So hopefully we find ourselves in a good position to just do a lot of extra damage here. Uh, my Zoltan shield is still holding pretty well. Let's go ahead and knock out your shield. I do like the plasma gun. It's pretty cool. Um, if we take out your weapons, that would probably be preferable. Also piloting. Uh, Alright, maybe we can only do these three rooms. Fine, we'll do this. Knock out his O2, his weapons, and his med bay. He wants to surrender. Mm, Alright, you know what? Five fuel is actually pretty solid. That is a lot of missiles. I don't... Hey, get out of my ship. Hey, you are supposed to be retreating. Go elsewhere, dang you. Alright, well, he's giving up on this. That's right, you get into that airlock. Get voiped into space. Voip, I say. Go voip! Turns out rocks can die of oxygen deprivation. Did you know? It's true. So he actually wasn't able to do any extra damage to me. Which means now that the oxygen is taken care of, everyone can go back to their initial positions. Although somehow, my shields went down. I have no idea how that happened, because probably the power bars got all messed up, and a couple of meteors just got through, and now I lost some damage to my medbay, and I'm on fire. What the frick? This is one of the only problems I have with Zoltan. They're great, but when they walk through rooms, they can mess up a lot of the power bars, and it's really annoying. Okay, now we're gonna go to the store, then we can hit up the Distress and work our way along the exit. Or we can hit another store over here, but... Let's try this one, just see what we got as an option here. Really hoping for a good weapon. Uh, well, you know, Flak 1 may be considered to be uh, the best weapon in the game, so I think this is a big, fat, yup! We taking this one, we taking this one, no doubt about it. What else you got? Scrap recovery arm, pretty good. Repin pre-igniter, extremely good. Shield charge booster, really good. Oh my god, this is like one of the best stores I think I've ever seen in my life. It's amazing. Um, well, I don't need a system repair drone. Shield overcharger drone is nice, but I don't have drone capacity. Let's hold on to this for the moment. I'm gonna sell this laser. That does get me the flak. I would love to get a scrap recovery arm as well. This is early enough in the game to make a pretty big difference. If I sell this, we can afford it. I think we have to. So we're gonna buy the scrap recovery arm. All this other stuff is great. But this should set me up to do a load of damage that absolutely can get through shields in the future, which is great for my heavy beam weapon, even if I don't use the Ion Plasma. And the extra scrap recovery just means I'm going to get that much more scrap, 10% specifically, throughout the rest of this run, which means I have a much better chance to upgrade my ship in ways that will keep me alive. This is good! This is a really good start so far. I'm liking this. All right. Giant spiders. Nope! Nope! <laughs> I have only seen, like, one time... Anyone on YouTube survived the spiders. And it happened to be Morton Northern Lion one time, and he had no idea that he dodged a huge frickin' bullet. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that at all. No biters. They are they are no they are no joke. Uh, let's see. A curious sight greets you. A disabled rock freighter drifts in space while two mantis craft battle it out over who deserves the spoils. I will absolutely attack the surviving mantis. Maybe we get a free rock out of this, I don't know. So you have a boarding party. If you're gonna send an NG, that's just a joke. No, he's not going to send an NG. Okay. Well, I could swap over to Flak. Flak actually charges faster and can do more damage. I mean, it fires off three shots, so it has a chance of getting through three shields. For only two power bars at that charge rate, that's so stupidly good. Yeah, go ahead and fire that off. Thank you. Boom. All right. What do we want to hit? Um, Probably a systemless room as well as weapons. Do you have weapons? Wait. You got, you got an uncharged beam weapon. You got nothing. All right, well, hit everything and he's dead from one shot. Wow. Yeah, that works. 19 scrap, thank you. And no, the rock is not gonna be my friend. Okay, let's head toward the exit, find out what's going on over here. I need to get a couple more weapon bars pretty soon. I also need to get another shield bar. Usually by the time you get to sector three, I like to have shields level two, but we obviously got delayed pretty substantially. Uh, mine the asteroids with a scrap recovery arm. Yep, we do that. 29 more scrap, well, thank you. This is pretty awesome! Alright, very good start so far. Solid as heck start. Um, we could invest heavily in shields and try to just raw DPS my enemies, which would be pretty good in the next sector, or we can go for defenses. 
It's one of the two. I'm not really sure which I want to go for, but I do know that we're kind of out of time. So we're going to have to figure out where we want to go next time, the NG Homeworlds or the Mantis Homeworlds. Either lots of friendly events or lots of combat. And I mean lots of combat. If we go NG, probably defensive. If we go Mantis, probably offensive. We'll find out. In the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you are looking forward to the rest of this small run as the Athena. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.